hello everyone so in this video we are going through the applied aspect of the thyroid gland or thyroid hormones so starting with the hyperthyroidism in this condition there will be excess thyroid hormones and uh, there will be increase in the size of the gland of the thyroid gland hyperplasia that means increase in the number of cells of the thyroid gland as well as increase in the rate of secretion when all these things happen there will be condition which is known as hyperthyroidism there will be increase in the size of the gland there will be hyperplasia that means increase in the number of cells as well as there will be increase in the rate of secretion of the thyroid hormones now hyperthyroidism causes graves disease it is the most common cause of the hyperthyroidism the other causes includes the toxic goiter thyrotoxicosis and thyroid adenoma now the pathogenesis of the hyperthyroidism hyperplasia of the gland so there will be increase in the number of cells as well as there will be increase in the rate of secretion of the thyroid hormones graves disease and uh, the pathogenesis of the graves disease or which includes the autoimmune disorders antibody stimulate the thyroid stimulating hormone receptors so now you remember that the thyroid hormone secretion occurs in the presence of thyroid stimulating hormone which is released from the anterior pituitary gland and when the antibodies in the conditions of autoimmune disorder antibodies going to stimulate the tsh receptors then these are includes the thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins thyroid stimulating antibodies or long acting thyroid stimulators so all these are the factors or the antibodies or the autoimmune type of disorder which stimulates the tsh receptors abnormally so there will be ultimate increase in the so there will be ultimately increase in the secretions of the thyroid hormone increase in the formation of t3 t4 and suppress the tsh so that means uh, in this condition there will be increase in the formation of t3 and t4 hormones as once the t3 and t4 hormone production increase there will be suppression of the tsh from the anterior pituitary gland and goiter so that these are the pathogenesis or the abnormal condition in which there will be the conditions of hyperthyroidism thyroid adenoma there will be excessive hormones from the adenoma which decrease the tsh and ultimately reduce the t3 t4 from the rest of the thyroid gland that means the thyroid tumor somewhere present in the thyroid gland and it increase the thyroid hormone but then due to this there will be decrease in the tsh and ultimately all the normal thyroid gland will reduce the t3 t4 hormone secretion so that is the hyperthyroidism condition now the characteristic features of the hyperthyroidism there will be increase in the excitability increase in the basal metabolic rate intolerance to heat and due to this there will be increase in the sweating the person appetite is increased that means food intake and food hunger is increased but the person having the weight loss which is due to protein catabolism effect which is domination by the increased thyroid hormone diarrhea due to increased motility of the gi tract tremors nervousness psychic disorders and there will be increase in the reflexes insomnia in spite of the fatigue due to increased reactivity of the synapses tachycardia and there will be increase in the pulse pressure muscular weakness scanty menstrual periods in females hyperglycemia these all are the characteristic features of the hyperthyroidism exophthalmos that means protrusion of the eyeballs causes includes the swelling of retro orbital tissues and degenerative changes in the extra ocular muscle due to this there will be the eyeball protrusion the condition is known as exophthalmos now what will be the effect of exophthalmos there will be stretching of the optic nerve improper closure of the eyelids dryness and irritation of the eyes as well as corneal ulcerations so these are the effects of the exophthalmos now what we have to see in the diagnostic test of the hyperthyroidism 
फ्री टी थ्री टी फोर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बाई द रेडियो इम्यूनोसाइड टेक्निक विल बी इंक्रीज दैट मीन्स इंक्रीज इन द टी थ्री टी फोर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन डिक्रीज इन द टी एस एच लेवल इंक्रीज इन द बेजल मेटाबोलिक रेट थाइरॉइड स्टिमुलेटिंग इम्यूनोग्लोबुलस इंक्रीज इन द थाइरोटॉक्सिकोसिस बट इफ देर इज अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ ट्यूमर लाइक कंडीशन और एडिनोमास ऑफ द थाइरॉइड लैंड देर विल बी डिक्रीज इन द टी एस आई दैट मीन्स थाइरॉइड स्टिमुलेटिंग इम्यूनोग्लोबुलिन लेवल अदर इन्वेस्टिगेशन विच शोज द डिक्रीज इन द कोलेस्टेरोल लेवल इंक्रीज इन द ब्लड शुगर लेवल रेडियोग्राफी एज वेल एज बायोप्सी सो दीज आर द डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट वी शुड हैव टू परफॉर्म टू फाइंड आउट वेदर द पर्सन हैविंग द हाइपथाइरोडिज्म और नॉट नाउ द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ हाइपथाइरोडिज्म एंटी थाइरॉयड ड्रग्स वी हैव टू गिव सर्जिकल रिमूवल और द थाइरोडेक्टोमी एंटी थाइरॉयड ड्रग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रोपाइल थियोयूरेसिल वी हैव टू गिव बिफोर द सर्जरी फॉर अबाउट वन टू टू वीक्स डायरेक्टली सर्जरी इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी परफॉर्म बट वी हैव टू फर्स्ट गिव द एंटी थाइरॉयड ड्रग्स टू नॉर्मलाइज द थाइरॉयड लेवल एंड लेटर वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द थाइरोडेक्टोमी डिक्रीज ग्लैंड साइज एंड रिड्यूज द ब्लड सप्लाई सो दैट इज ऑल्सो द सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर रेडियो एक्टिव आयोडिन वी हैव टू गिव इट डिस्ट्रॉय द सिक्रेटरी सेल्स ऑफ द थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड इंटरनली सो दैट इज ऑल्सो द प्रोसीजर दैट मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स विथ सिक्रेट द थाइरॉयड हॉर्मोन विल बी रिड्यूस्ड नाउ द सेकेंड कंडीशन इट इज द हाइपोथाइरोडिज्म इन दिस कंडीशन देर विल बी डिक्रीज इन द थाइरॉयड हॉर्मोन्स नाउ विच आर द कॉजिज ऑफ हाइपोथाइरोडिज्म हसीमोटोस थाइरोडाइटिस इट्स अ ऑटो इम्यून कंडीशन एंडेमिक गोइटर ड्यू टू डायटरी डेफिशेंसी ऑफ द आयोडीन एडियोपैथिक नॉन टॉक्सिक कोलोइड गोइटर इट मे बी कंडीशन ऑफ थाइरोडाइटिस द एंजाइम विच रेगुलेटिंग द आयोडीन मेकेनिजम्स इन द थाइरोड ग्लैंड आर डैमेज देर विल बी डिक्रीज इन द पेरोक्सीडेज एक्टिविटी विच लीड्स टू द डिक्रीज ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द आयोडीन डिक्रीज इन द कपलिंग एज वेल एज डिक्रीज इन द डी आयोडीनिस दीज आर द मेकेनिजम्स विच आर डीलिंग विद द आयोडीन एंड दीज आर नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली इन द कंडीशन ऑफ हाइपोथाइरोडिज्म सम फूड फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैबेज एंड टर्निप सेकेंडरी टू पिच्यूटरी एंड हाइपोथेलेमिक फेलियर एंटी पिच्यूटरी हॉर्मोन दैट मीन्स थाइरॉयड स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन इज डेफिसिट दैन द कंडीशन विल बी हाइपोथाइरोडिज्म इफेक्ट देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द थाइरॉयड स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन कोज इज द हाइपोट्रॉपी ऑफ द थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड एंड ड्यू टू दिस हाइपोट्रॉपी द कंडीशन ऑफ ग्वाइटर हसीमोटोस थाइरोडाइटिस इट्स ऑटोम्यून डिसऑर्डर हियर द ऑटो इम्यूनिटी डिस्ट्रॉयज द थाइरॉयड ग्लैंड deterioration and fibrosis of the gland and so there will be decrease in the thyroid hormones so that is the hashimoto's thyroiditis now the clinical or the characteristic features of hypothyroidism fatigue with somnolence muscular sluggishness decrease in the heart rate cardiac output and blood flow there will be increase in the body weight constipation mental sluggishness decrease in the hair growth dry skin frog like husky voice which is diagnosed on the telephonic consultations or telephonic conversations edematous appearance as well as there will be conditions of increased cholesterol level so these all are the characteristic features of the hypothyroidism now the condition of hypothyroidism which occurs in adults that is known as myxodema so it occurs in adults due to lack of thyroid functions it shows beginners under the eyes swelling of the face due to deposition of the chondritin surface so the face becomes swelled because there is deposition of the chondritin sulfate there will be non pitting type of edema because there will be accumulation of gel type fluid atherosclerosis and other features of the hypothyroidism will be there so this is the conditions of hypothyroidism which occurs in the adult life which is known as myxodema now when there is congenital deficiency of thyroid hormone the condition is known as cretinism the causes of cretinism includes the maternal deficiency of the iodine lack of thyroid hormones in the childhood congenital lack of the gland that means the entire thyroid gland is absent failure of the gland to produce the hormone and iodine lack in the diet hypothyroidism cretinism lack of thyroid hormone will result in the irreversible retardation of the brain growth and maturation 
so the person will not having any type of mental proper functioning as well as retarded musculoskeletal growth so that is the cretinism now the characteristic features of the cretinism baby is normal at the birth if the mother is not hypothyroid that means at the time of birth if the mother during the pregnancy is not suffering from the hypothyroidism then the baby is normal now after the birth when there will be the conditions of hypothyroidism present in the baby then all these are the clinical or characteristic features we have to note down movements become sluggish physical and mental growth both are retarded that means decrease or deficient physical growth can be regained by the treatment skeletal growth is more retarded so the child is stocky dwarf mental growth is permanently retarded if not treated within one year after the birth there will be conditions of the tongue which is enlarged which going to choke the baby port belly appearance failure of the sexual development and other characteristic features of the hypothyroidism are present now the hypothyroidism endemic colloid goiter this occurs when there is a dietary deficiency of the iodine and it is more common in the hilly regions where there is a less iodine in the food due to lack of iodine inside the body there will be decrease in the formation of t3 and t4 thyroid hormones but thyroglobulin is normal no inhibition of the tsh so tsh is increased when there is decrease in the t3 and t4 hormone it is obvious that the tsh level is increased and uh, there will be increase in the thyroglobulin structure and increase in the gland size but no increase in the t3 t4 due to lack of iodine here what is happening due to deficiency of iodine the t3 and t4 hormone concentration reduce inside the body and due to lack of t3 and t4 inside the body there will be over production of the tsh because the inhibitory feedback mechanism is not working so there will be increase in the tsh level inside the body and this tsh continuously stimulating the thyroglobulin so there will be increase in the thyroglobulin size and due to this there will be increase in the thyroid gland size which is known as endemic colloid goiter now the second goiter is condition of the hypothyroidism it is idiopathic non toxic goiter when the conditions of thyroiditis that means inflammatory condition of the thyroid gland there will be no functioning of the thyroid gland proper so there will be decrease in the thyroid hormones and hence the condition of hypothyroidism and ultimately due to this there will be increase in the tsh level and size of the non inflamed part of the gland and which leads to the nodular goiter so here what is happening thyroiditis is a condition of inflammation of the thyroid gland due to this the thyroid gland is not working properly and due to this there will be reduced t3 and t4 hormone inside the body ultimately which leads to over production of the tsh from the anti pituitary and this tsh which continuously stimulating the thyroid gland and due to this there will be increase in the non inflamed part of the gland that means the part which is normal that part size will become increase and it leads to nodular goiter now which are the diagnostic test we have to find out whether the person having the hypothyroidism or not so in this person when there will be decrease in the thyroxine level but there will be increase in the thyroid stimulating hormone level so that will be ultimately conditions of the hypothyroidism and one more thing we have to find out that there will be decrease in the bmr because uh, under the effect of thyroid hormone there will be increase in the bmr so in the hypothyroidism no thyroid hormone or the lack of the thyroid hormone so bmr is decrease and the treatment it includes the oral tablets of thyroxine so i hope by this presentation now you are understand the applied aspect of the thyroid gland if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends groups colleagues and batch thank you everyone